Yeah. Hey, T Squad, it's me, Keisha, and I'm here with this week's All T All Shade, Kiki Wyatt's World, Season 1, Episode 4 Review. So, this week's episode began with Andre going once again to Kiki's house to work out their relationship because they got into it on episode three. I don't know how he do it because at this point, I just be like, girl, ain't nobody got time for you and your multiple personalities. Ain't nobody got time. And I'm not going to be the one that's constantly coming to you trying to fix things. This is obviously a one-sided relationship where you think that you can do whatever, say whatever, and I'm just supposed to take it. Absolutely not. So she says that she's stressing over, um, you know, her baby and says that she, he, the baby is going to prove the specialist wrong and everything. And she just refuses to believe that she made the wrong decision, you know, with having him because the specialist told her while she was pregnant that he was going to have a lot of complications. And, you know, she just trusted and believed in God that he will pull through. You know, and I, I don't even know what to say to that because, you know, God is able to do anything. You know what I'm saying? So that's just where I'm going to leave that. Um, Andre, however, is launching a product child called Tree Capes. And it's literally a cape for a tree, a Christmas tree. Now, I didn't seen some things in my life, in my 42 years on planet Earth, but I ain't never seen a tree cape invention and he's literally putting money behind this foolishness because who's buying this first of all the sample looked a hot mess it looked like he literally got a little cheap piece of fabric and hot glue some embellishments on like sir please have several seats now i see why kiki yell at you all the time because if you're doing dumb stuff like this then god knows what you're doing with that lady career please go and have several and who are these people around you that's hyping you up to put this mess out that ain't nobody gonna buy goodbye so kiki is planning her son roger's roger's 20th birthday party she's gonna surprise him with his favorite gospel singer dorinda clark uh to perform and we learned that, you know, when Raja was in the hospital fighting, you know, cancer for four years, his grandmother was one of the people that was by his side, literally on an everyday basis while he was going through chemo and everything. They were really close during that time. And, you know, he's in remission, he's doing well, but the, you know, the doctors told Kiki and them that he probably wouldn't even live to see the age of 20 so the fact that he has it's just a blessing from God and you know he defied all of the odds so this birthday is you know truly truly special so um he now however has a best friend by the name of Haley who is coming and Kiki Mama Lorna ain't excited about this because she don't like the little girl Haley Apparently, Haley told him when they went on a little family vacation or whatever to like Arkansas somewhere <clears throat> and she went with them. It was Lorna, him, Haley or whatever. And Haley apparently went back and told Raja that his granny Lorna uh, said that he's confused and not really gay and that they should have a baby. Now, Lorna 100 percent denies this. <laughs> Um, so she's sitting down having a conversation with Kiki in the living room when Raja comes home and he speaks to his mama, but don't speak to his grandmama. And Kiki was like, you can speak to your grandmother, like speak to your grandmother. And, uh, he was like, no, mm -mm, I'm good. And he then goes on to say that she's lying for the cameras and Raja and his confession was like, we used to have a close relationship. Then two years ago, when I went on my Arkansas trip, she had a lot of homophobic slurs and a lot of racial slurs to say. I just find this hard to believe that this woman would say anything racially uh, wrong or homophobically wrong. Like you've known your grandmama your whole life all of a sudden two years ago she just became a racist and a homophobe like it it ain't making sense to me so roger was like call me a fag call it to me please say it to my face like you did in arkansas to uncle dougie and the grandmother was like i said i hate when gay boys first come out because they're messy as 
And Roger was like, you shouldn't even be saying gay boys. Girl, it ain't nothing wrong with her saying gay boy. Like, stop, stop, stop. And obviously your grandmother has been around a lot of gay men, probably has a lot of gay friends. So I think that he's just extra sensitive. And I, I honestly think that the little girl lied on the grandmother. I do. I think the little girl might be a weirdo. She probably is secretly in love with him and want him to be her man and trying to make him not, you know, like boys or whatever the case may be. I'm team Lorna in this situation. I am. So, um, the grandma was like that's what I said because you are messy as f and that's the problem you are <laughs> and I agree he I don't like the way he talked to her I mean you can feel how you want to feel but you're not going to be disrespectful and the fact that Kiki just sat there and let it happen says a lot and so Lorna turns to Kiki and was like he doesn't even respect you because he wouldn't have done that to me like and Kiki was like he does respect me because he knows I'll smack his teeth out well you should have been smacking his teeth out when he was talking to his grandmother crazy and yelling at her like where is the respect level like you can be upset with her you can not even want to be around her but you will be respectful at the end of the day like raising your voice and doing all that like mm -mm, that was just totally inappropriate so Kiki gets the baby from the hospital again. He's now on seizure medication. Poor baby. Kiki is upset when she gets him home because apparently she was unable to give him his medication because the people at the hospital gave her the wrong syringe. So now they scrambling to get this baby his medicine. Her mama gets it done, was able to link up with one of the nurses meet her halfway and get the what the right syringe and see this is once again you know because kiki even said our own my one thing my mama gonna do is if something needs to be done she's going to get it done like she's going to always be there and i think that that lady genuinely loves her family and her grandchildren that's why it's hard for me to believe that she would speak like that about her grandson um so roger tells kiki that he doesn't want Lorna at his birthday party. And Kiki just like, oh my God, there's one more thing I'm gonna have to deal with. So while they at like the gas station, it's just Kiki and the little girl Haley in the car. And Haley says she doesn't get why Lorna does not like her. And child, I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know what to feel about this. What y'all feel? Y'all think that the lady was being racist and homophobic or do you think that the little girl Haley lied on her? Y'all let me know. So Kiki goes to the studio and finally picked out some beats for this new album. And afterwards we see Kiki call her brother to talk to him about the Lorna and Roger situation, how he doesn't want her to be at his birthday party. So she was like, I need for you to be the one to tell mama that she can't come. So he was like, oh God, all right, I'll do it. So it's the day of Roger's birthday party and her other son, Kiever, was the one that did the decorating and he did an amazing job. Now, wait a minute, I'm a little bit confused. I don't know if it was Kiever, her son or Kiever, her brother, because apparently she must have named her son after her brother. So I don't know if it was Kiva the brother or Kiva the son that did the decorating. But whoever did it did a great job. I'm thinking it was Kiva, Kiva the brother. So Lorna apparently called Andre and told him that Roger texted her saying he didn't want her to come. But <laughs> lo and behold, Lorna came anyway. Lorna said, y'all not going to stop me, okay? <laughs> I don't care how he feel. And she said she refused to miss this monumental moment because... Once again, she's looking at it from the aspect of we were told that you wouldn't even make it to this milestone, you know, and I understand you mad at me, but I want to be here to see you celebrate that. And I get what she's saying, but at the same time, you do have to respect his wishes. You know what I'm saying? If even if it was nothing but for you to just walk in, see the space, see him, tell him you love him, give him a gift and leave. That should have been the extent of it. I don't think that she should have stayed the whole time, you know, because <clears throat> obviously he feels strongly about his feelings towards her. That cannot be denied. So um, after that, Lorna tells Kiever, Kiki's brother, Roger said he's going to have me escorted out when he gets her. Me and him 
fell out over Haley Fat A again. <laughs> And see, this is why I don't think that that lady ever in her life said that uh, that boy was confused and that he need to have a baby with that little girl. I think that that little girl want that to happen. So um, then Roger and Kiki and all of them arrive. Zachariah and these muscle shirts ain't gonna bother me because it's like, sir, do you have anything else in your wardrobe? We already got to see you walk around in tank tops all the time. So now when you go to functions, you just put on a muscle shirt <laughs> on top of the tank tops. Like, I need for this man to get his wardrobe in order. So Kiki was like, Roger, what's wrong? Nana's not here. And they was like, yes, she is. So when Kiki arrived, she didn't even know that her mama was there. So then she sees her mama. She like, oh my God, like this is the last thing that I need. Roger is upset because his granny is there and he told her he didn't want her there. Kiki was like, you know, I love my mother, but she do too much. And I was like, uh, you are the mini version of her. You are literally a replica of your mother. You do too much. Okay, you and your mama are the same person. Y'all overbearing. Y'all do what y'all want to do and say what y'all want to say. So Kiki <clears throat> gets upset when Roger leaves the party and goes outside because he is truly pissed that his grandmother is there. Like it's ruining his whole day. Um, I also feel like Roger is spoiled. I feel like after what he went through, I feel like they allow him to get away with certain stuff that other kids probably wouldn't be able to get away with. Because like you 20 years old sitting up there literally acting like a five year old about to cry. You 20 years old. Okay, your grandmother there. You didn't want her there, okay? I still wouldn't have let one monkey stop no show at the end of the day. And you letting this old woman ruin your birthday. Boy, get out of here. So, Kiki was like, see, everything is about her. And I was like, oh, ain't that the pot calling the kettle black? So, Roger is in the corner soaking. His little friend is trying to get him to smile and laugh. And Andre over there trying to get him to smile and laugh. And Andre was like, don't let nobody stop you from enjoying your night. Your mother really worked hard on this. And I'm like, exactly. Like, look how they went above and beyond for you. So um, his friends tell him to go back inside and kick it. So he does. Kiki talks to her dad about the situation. And Kiki was like, I don't know why she don't like Haley. I don't know if it's because Haley is a little girl version of her. And then Kiki in her confessional says, you're just mad that she took your place in her mind. And I agree. I 100% started to feel like not only did a little girl lie on her, but I do think that she feels some type of way that somebody took her place in her grandson's life, especially since they used to be so close. And it probably took her off even more that it's a fat white girl <laughs> because she's a fat white woman. <laughs> so, um, Kiki goes over to her mama to talk and her mother just hugs her around her waist and places her head, her head on Kiki's stomach and was like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And Kiki says, why do you hate Haley? And Lorna Thomas, because the first time she lied on me, nobody did anything about it. All of that was a lie. Why would I tell him to have a baby with that ugly ass girl? <laughs> baby, I love Lorna, child. Love her who <laughs> she said i'm never gonna not be there for him kiki was like okay but he feels like you're putting a wedge between him and his best friend so once she couldn't get her her mother to understand where she was coming from kiki grabs the mic and announces dorinda clark and ricky dillard roger just busts out crying when they walk through the door because these are his favorite artists that are coming especially for him and he just tells Dorinda, you know, when I was in the hospital, you made me want to keep fighting. And through you, I really feel like I grew closer to God. And I, I'm so happy that he got that moment with somebody that he idolizes and loves so much. And I'm happy that despite what he went through, he has built a relationship with God. So Dorinda sings and he just crying and everybody's just in the moment. 
Lorna in her confessional was like, I hope I didn't ruin his birthday. I wasn't trying to be selfish. I came because I just really wanted to be there. And it's like I sympathize with the grandmother because it's obvious that she loved her grandson. And she remembers all of the hard times that this boy went through. She was there on the front line. So I understand why she didn't want to miss this moment. But I just wish that she would have also respected him as a young man and not stayed. So she ends up walking over to him and give him a kiss on the cheek. He doesn't acknowledge it, doesn't even flinch, turn his head, nothing. And he just focuses on Dorinda and the episode goes off. Um, I thought that it was a really good episode. Um, the more we're diving into this family, the more we're seeing the in and out workings and the dynamics between everybody. But yeah, Kiki and her mama are the same. <laughs> the same person so all the stuff she don't like about her mama is all the stuff that she shouldn't like about herself child and Roger need to be popped in the mouth point blank and the period overall i'm gonna give the episode a b plus it was a really good episode y'all let me know what y'all thought about it down below in the comment section make sure to thumbs up this video like and subscribe and hit that notification bell button i love you guys and i'll see you on the next video bye